The James Webb Telescope is truly an engineering marvel. With a mirror almost three times wider, the James Webb Telescope will be able to see objects almost nine times fainter than Hubble, allowing us to peer even further into space. In addition to looking farther across space than any previous observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope can look further back in time than any other telescope, observing distant stars and galaxies as they appeared 13.5 billion years ago, not long after the beginning of the universe as we know it. But can the JSS see through the formation of the universe? The first breathtaking images from the James Webb Space Telescope have been released to the public, offering the possibility of new discoveries that will help to further explain the complexities of the universe, while other highly sophisticated telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope, have been placed in orbit in the past. JWST is the next generation of space technology that was intricately designed and developed through an international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. JWST combines Hubble and Spitzer's features, making it the largest telescope ever built for space exploration. As a result of its mirror segment arrangement, this flagship telescope is capable of detecting light beyond the visible spectrum into the mid-infrared range using infrared cameras to peer through the dust in space and capture incredible images over 18 billion light years away. This means that some of the large telescope astronomy's previous limitations have been overcome, and scientists will be able to visualize and study even more aspects and distances of the universe. While all eyes were on the JWST's launch on December the 25th, 2021, the telescope had been in the works for decades. The telescope's design made it extremely difficult to build and test before it was ready for development. A telescope's sensitivity is determined by the size of its mirrors used to capture light from objects at a specific distance. The larger the mirror, the greater the viewing distance. In the case of JWST, scientists and engineers set out to create a large, primary mirror comprised of 18 hexagonal-shaped segments made of beryllium, a light and strong metal. The mirror segment's hexagonal shape allows for symmetry and eliminates gaps when fitted together, allowing for seamless folding and unfolding. The hexagonal shape is also nearly circular, which is the best shape for focusing light for imaging. JWST's large primary mirror measures 21.3 feet when all segments are added together. According to NASA, this is the first mirror of this size to be launched into space. To detect and pinpoint faint objects while also determining their compositions, a complex array of mid- and near-infrared cameras and detectors work in tandem with the primary mirror described above. All of this equipment is protected and kept cool by massive sun shields that block stray heat and light from the sun. JWST's powerful technology allows for studying space phenomena over time and discovering new processes such as star and planet formation. This is an exciting time for the advancement of space technology and exploration, thanks to the inspiration and collaborative efforts of a global team of scientists and engineers. JWST can be tracked by visiting NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center website. Each successful test of JWST's complex design has brought relief to its engineers and increased anticipation for the first images to be captured and shared as proof of its incredible capabilities. That time has finally arrived. The JWST's first formal set of images explored colliding galaxies and an active black hole and even provided a first look at an alien world. It's a rare treat for a sequel to be as good as the original, but the James Webb Space Telescope's second set of images on July the 12th certainly lived up to expectations set by the previous evening's extraordinary deep field reveal. In fact, it outperformed them by leaps and bounds. President Joe Biden's announcement of the first image was lackluster, but the image itself, magnificent. It is known as Webb's first deep field, and it provides astronomers with a view of the galaxy cluster SMACS0723. Even though the images released do not go quite as far back in space and time, they are undeniably profound, equal in beauty to the first deep field 
and intricately woven with exquisite cosmic detail. The JWST's first full-color set includes three major images. Two of them are about nebulas, which are huge clouds of dust and gas where stars are sometimes born. And the other is about Stephen's Quintet, a terrifying corner of the cosmos where five galaxies are locked in an ultimately fatal dance. Then there's the spectral data from WASP-96b, a really hot giant gassy exoplanet whose atmosphere is revealed in unprecedented detail. This isn't your typical image, but rather something far more valuable. It's a spectral data set that helps us understand what it's like to stand on a space-borne object rather than what it looks like, and as they say, the book is frequently superior to the film. The Big Bang Theory and JWST? Over the last few months, an article has circulated on the internet claiming that images from the JWST have disproven the Big Bang Theory. JWST can see further back into the universe's history than any other previous telescope. However, according to the article, titled simply, The Big Bang Didn't Happen, JWST's images have inspired panic among cosmologists because they contradict the Big Bang Theory. One paper's title begins with the candid exclamation, PANIC! The article reads, clicking on the link to the paper, as astrophysicist Dr. Becky Smethurst points out in a video shared on Twitter, reveals that the authors were making a panic at the disco run in their paper titled Panic at the Discs. First, rest frame optical observations of the galaxy structure. The article's author, Eric Lerner, then quotes another astronomer, Allison Kirkpatrick, of the University of Kansas, as saying, Right now I find myself lying awake at 3 in the morning, wondering if everything I've done is wrong. She did, in fact, say it. In a Nature article, in awe of what astronomers have learned from the first JWST images, not as evidence of astronomers panicking, as Lerner purposefully misinterpreted it. Kirkpatrick, who has since changed her Twitter handle to Allison, the Big Bang Happened Kirkpatrick, appears to be having a good laugh. A friend alerted me to this article and now I can't stop getting emails applauding me for my bravery and acknowledging the Big Bang is wrong, she tweeted. Kirkpatrick had been discussing various new bits of data from the JWST, one of which was that galaxies have disks far earlier than we expected. While this may necessitate tweaking galaxy formation theories, it in no way replaces the Big Bang Theory, which Kirkpatrick was not referring to. Indeed, Kirkpatrick claims that JWST's images support the Big Bang model because they show us that early galaxies were different than the galaxies we see today. They were much smaller. Lerner appears to suggest in one section of the article that stars have been discovered that are older than the Big Bang Theory would allow, and that, because the JWST can see the color of distant galaxies, the red color of distant galaxies means that they contain very old stars. According to Big Bang Theory, the most distant galaxies in the JWST images are seen as only 400 to 500 million years after the universe's origin, Lerner wrote. Nonetheless, some of the galaxies have stellar populations that are more than a billion years old. Because nothing could have existed prior to the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies prove that the Big Bang did not occur. As Dr. Brian Keating points out, we have to first make sure that the calibration between redshift and distance is calibrated because the expansion of the universe causes redshift. Second, trust us as science communicators whose job it is to amplify cool science. If stars were discovered that were possibly older than the universe, you would not be hearing about it from one man's blog alone. Remember, when scientists erroneously discovered that neutrinos were moving faster than light, despite the fact that this was clearly not the case? For context, the JWST may have discovered a galaxy between 420 million and 180 million years after the Big Bang, which was widely reported as a significant discovery, and it is. The paper cited by Lerner suggests that we may need to revise our theories about galaxy formation to account for how disks appeared so quickly. We don't have to give our best explanation for the universe's creation just yet. That brings us to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment below. 
Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we upload more content.